welcome to the Global Foundation for Ocean Exploration Expedition in the Northwest Gulf of Mexico. I'm Joshua Voss. I'm the science lead on leg one of this expedition. I'm from Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. And our mission here is funded by NOAA Sanctuaries with the focus on understanding biodiversity and connectivity in the Northwest Gulf. My name is G.P. Schmall. I'm the superintendent of the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. The Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary includes three major banks, and that's the East Flower Garden Bank, West Flower Garden Bank, and Stetson Bank. But as most people know, those are only three of dozens of reefs and banks that occur along the edge of the continental shelf in this part of the Gulf of Mexico. Our goals are threefold. First, we're going to be conducting a, a series of linear transects to characterize habitat and look for potential changes that may have occurred over time. Second, we're going to be sampling a number of species for population genetics and connectivity. All of those samples are going to be analyzed to look for genetic fingerprints and evidence of relatedness across these banks to try to understand how these banks may be seeding one another's populations and allowing uh, the biota and diversity that we see to persist over space and time. And then our third goal is to try to get a better understanding on the diversity and, and uh, perhaps unique species that may be in the Northwest Gulf of Mexico to determine what species are here. So for example, I think we saw a, a uh, long snout seahorse, uh, Hippocampus radii, and I believe that's a, a species that is well known, but had never been observed on McGrail Bank before. Um, so those kind of novel observations are, are somewhat rare, and, and uh, we definitely got excited when we saw that. In all of the dives we've done at the Bargain Bank, um, throughout the northwest Gulf of Mexico, we've never seen a seahorse, so this is extraordinary. So these banks are incredibly diverse and support a variety of marine organisms and, and biological communities that are critically important for the, the health of the Gulf of Mexico. Besides being just beautiful and, and diverse and incredible places in their own right, they are areas that provide uh, nursery habitat for uh, fish and invertebrates of commercial and recreational importance. So they, uh, these areas are very important in providing in sustaining the economic viability of this part of the Gulf of Mexico. So in terms of understanding the ecology of these banks and the function of the banks as a system, one of the key components of that is understanding the biodiversity and the species that are there and what, what role those species might play. So any efforts that we can undertake to get a better idea of which organisms are present in each location adds to our ability to, to understand the system and then make predictions about how that system functions or how that system may respond in the face of change in the future.